Welcome back. The oldest players on major league rosters this year. It's a group headlined by 43-year-old veteran Rich Hill, Nelly Cruz, player, manager, GM for the uh, Dominican Republic team in the World Baseball Classic. And you even got right. a, Nelly looking old in this picture, Matt. That's cold. Man. Well, you know what? How about the fact that when Miguel <laughs> Cabrera faced Rich Hill as an opponent, in the batter's box in 2005. You think either one of them thought that they'd still be doing this in 2023? Here it is. Rich Hill is a Cub. Young Miggy, future Hall of Famer as a Marlin. Wrigley Field looked different back then. And these guys are still out there doing their thing. Wow. Will Leach of MLB.com has written of the senior statesman now for a couple <laughs> years. I remember you going through this last year in a piece. Will, you have a soft spot for the old guys. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, this is a whole thing. People love it. Even people that like don't even watch that much baseball love to know how old they are compared to baseball players. That's always a good <laughs> reminder. My player on this was always Placido Polanco. They were Placido Polanco with the Cardinals, Phillies, Tigers. Yep. He and I were born on the same day. So I remember when he was a young, uh, up and coming star and then a grizzled veteran and then retired. And then uh, who remembers that guy? And it kind of it kind of marks the, uh, the arc <laughs> of a human life uh, in a lot of ways. So, uh, uh, so I. Uh, it's funny. I always post this piece on Twitter every year. I always remind people this piece is here to remind you how old you've gotten, how much of life has passed you by. And so that is a great thing about baseball. I am now older than all the players in baseball. And if you were, if, if Albert Pujols, who was the oldest person really for the last couple of years, if he, uh, if you're older than him, if you're younger than him, you're now, uh, yeah, that's it, because he's out. It's now, uh, it's now Rich Hill. Rich Hill is now the oldest player in baseball, and uh, and he's going to be 43 on opening day, which I think speaks to really how amazing he is, considering how long Rich Hill was actually out of baseball and how he's with the St. Saint Paul Saints and came all the way back. So Rich Hill is now the oldest guy. Uh, this is a list. The thing about this list, it changes a lot every year <laughs> because you get older and people drop off the list. We lost five people from the list last year, and uh, Hill's the last one left. I thought for a minute we were we were on a, a route here in baseball. Well, the oldest guy is going to be 32 years old. They were just like kicking the old guys to the curb for a while. Rich Hill's my favorite old guy because I, the, the antics on the mound, all the stuff he does. Who is your favorite old guy? For me, it's it's kind of got to be Justin Verlander. I, I, I don't I feel bad saying that he's old, but he is on he is on the list. He is at the top ten, and I actually have found, generally speaking pitchers it's easier to stay you know I, I think you see a lot of veteran pitchers i mean this is the first time since i've been doing this list that there was a cy young winner on the list so i think that that speaks a little bit to how pitching you know that kind of craftiness that you can get obviously he still throws hard but the craftiness i think it's easier for pitchers to stay on the list than hitters we lost a lot of hitters off the list from molina to Bohe to pujols to uh, to robinson cano we lost off the list uh, nelson cruz still hanging on you gotta love nelson cruz uh but yeah i really to me, I it's one thing to stay on the list. Oliver Perez was on the list for an unusually long period of time, though. But he was just kind of left a lefty reliever, which is impressive. But I like the guys that are still dominating and make us making us old people feel like we still have something to contribute. Justin Verlander, obviously, very high on that list. Hey, I, I'm wondering your take on this, Will. I feel like uh, as we move forward now over the next number of years, there's going to be kind of an AARP flavor to our game. What with say 30 year, uh, 30 year old shortstops like Xander. Bogart's <laughs> getting 11-year deals. Uh, if the Padres have anything to do with it, the median age in our sport is going to rise exponentially over the next decade. We're getting older as a game, it feels like. Well, certainly the contracts are getting older. And technically speaking, if we're going to play the if you're still getting paid, even if you're not playing, as some of those players may actually get at the end of the career, the oldest player in baseball remains Bobby Bonilla. So, but I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if, if uh, we're going to be continuing that. But I think that's right. You know, I think a lot of those contracts are being signed with the idea that at the end of the, at the end of it, they're still getting paid, that, but they might not be a big part of the team. You actually saw this with Cano. Cano was one of the highest paid players in baseball last year, even though he he really barely played. So I think you'll see that a little bit, but you got to stay on a roster. And to me, no matter what you're getting paid, if you're staying on a roster, there's only 26 of those things. If you're staying on a roster at the age of uh, in your mid thirties or older, it's really, really impressive. And I think, I do think some of these long contracts that you're seeing with the Padres are more to like stay under the luxury tax now to like extend the average annual value for a long time. We'll see whether those players are all on rosters by 2032. We'll see if any, of us are here at all in 2032 so I'll, I'll think i'll be impressed by any of it at that point
Yeah, but here in 2032, that's like some science oh. fiction movie way back uh, when we were kids. Oh, you know, the I interesting know. thing about all this, Will, is one day when you retire, you're old in baseball, and you wake up the next morning, and you're young again. Because exactly. they sit there and they go, wow, you're a young man. You're only 35. Oh. You're only 36. One of my favorite things is when I, uh, I have friends that are 36 who are like, you know, still figuring out what they're going to do in their life. And they'll watch a baseball game on TV and see a 36 year old and be like, what a grizzled vet. This guy's seen everything in the world. And it's just a reminder how the baseball world and the, ba the baseball arc of life and the life like arc of life are very, very different. Things. Here, here's one of my favorite things in, in regards to this conversation. And it's the occasion where there's a manager who is significantly mm -hmm. younger than one of or a number of his players. And Oliver Marmol, speaking of 36, mm -hmm. the manager of the St. Louis Cardinals, is five years the junior of Adam Wainwright. I always feel like that's a fun thing to talk about. I love that. Remember last year, not only was he younger than Albert Pujols, he was Albert Pujols' tenant. He was renting out Albert Pujols' <laughs> place last year. So, uh, yeah, I think that certainly would change the, the dynamic a little bit when you're the manager. But I think that's one of the things that Mermel, I think, has done a really good job with the Cardinals. He actually has come in, obviously, at Yachty and uh, Pujols last year with Wayne right this year. It's something he's very comfortable with. I think it helps with Mermel. He's been with the Cardinals for a long time. So I think that even though he is, old, he is relatively young, he has a lot of experience experience with that team and that's life experience right no one expects you to play at 36 you can just go ahead and manage and wear the uniform and frankly if managers are still wearing the uniform maybe it's better that they're young they still look good in those things for crying out loud so <laughs> i wonder if there's value in that too fun stuff that will presents here the oldest players this year follow him on twitter read his piece on mlb.com will we appreciate the visit this morning talk to you down the road